Hi, uh, in this video we are going to go over the end of year tax receipt process, which really has three components. One is to create your letter template, second is to search for the recipients, and then third is to complete the mailing, which is actually the simplest part. So first let's start with creating our letter template, and we do that in, we'll start by going to the template area. And our first choice is what type of template do we want to create, either a, one from a Word document or an LGL template using our built-in editor. Uh, Word is a nice choice because it gives you more formatting options for the letter. So we'll name our template. Now here it's asking what Word file we're going to use. There's already one built-in, but it's extremely basic. So what I would rather use is our simple letterhead here. So I'm just going to save this to my desktop. I did save it as a docx file. That's required that it be a, in a docx format in Word. And then you'll also notice that I have two merge fields, what we like to call super merge fields. And you'll see how they work in a, in a minute. So back to our letter template here. I'm going to replace this file with the one I just saved. So I'm going to choose that file from my desktop, that letter template right there. Now these two super merge fields are going to be brought in from these boxes here, letter content and PS content. The letter content is the main body of the letter. So the purpose of this letter is to let people know about their donations the previous year. I'm going to make this really quick and simple. Um, now, on the right-hand side, I can pull in a merge field, but the one I want is gifts 2016 deductible total. That's going to be a total dollar amount. And then we want to include an itemized list of their gifts. And that's this field, gifts 2016 list. We can save this template now. Uh, that's our end of year tax receipt gifts. Now the next step for creating a mailing, we really recommend starting in the constituent tab to run your search. And basically the mailing is going to be a combination of our search uh, for recipients and we're going to add the template. We're going to use the template in that to create the mailing. So we've already done step one, now it's time to search for the recipients. So I want to find people who had a gift last year. So I'm going to search on the term gift date. I did that so quickly by just typing the word gift and it jumped me around in the drop down list. And likewise here I can type last year to jump to that. We could put in exact dates here if we want. Uh, you could also choose fiscal year, although for tax receipts calendar year is the, the better one. Now I have to hit search to run that search and it's going to bring up in my case 21 people who meet the results. Now it is including multiple gift types so I want to edit that. I really only want to include actual uh, actual monetary gifts that have been received so I'm going to limit my results to the gift type of just gift. You may want to include in-kind or other types of gifts if there are tax-deductible benefits there, but we'll just stick with regular gifts. And I have 18 people that meet that result. Now one thing that is very helpful with any mailing is the field can send mail. Can send mail is going to eliminate anyone who has an invalid address or no valid address or if they have the do not mail flag set, or if they are marked as deceased. So in our case, that, that reduces our number by a lot. Uh, tells me that I need to go fix my addresses in my account. Um, but for the purpose of this demo, we'll continue on with just the six. So with that uh, result that I have here, I'm gonna hit this send mail button, and it's gonna launch us into the mail building process. 
we're on step one, which is to build my mailing list, but I already have all six people that I want on there. So I can go directly into step two. Now here is where I can pick my template that I want. I'm not gonna build a new custom one. I wanna pick one that I already created. I think it's this one. Yep, yeah, 2015 gifts. It shows me a little preview of what my template includes. Uh, if I want to customize it, I can, but I don't have to. If I want to include labels or envelopes, I will. Uh, number 10 envelope. Uh, step three is the mailing option. Uh, this is where you, where you name your mailing. We select the send date, set a couple of other preferences, and then move on to the final step where we review and where we can download our merged letters. Now in the review step, I see a summary here, which is the content that I created with my template. And then I also see the actual recipients. I see the names and address in the address block. I see the merged content here as well. There's some missing gift items here. Uh, yes, there are missing items, and uh, I'm realizing now uh, that I put in an incorrect value into the merge document. Um, I didn't do that on purpose, but it is actually a very good way to illustrate how quickly you can fix things in here. Uh, I had selected the 2016 deductible total and the 2016 list, when really I need the 15 in both cases. So I will now go back through and see how it looks with that correction in place. Uh, we're getting now back to the merge documents and now we are looking a lot better. We have uh, dollar values in each of these and the full itemized list in there as well. Uh, over here um, I previewed them down below but now here I can click download all and generate a download of the complete merged file and see those see what those look like and now I see the final merged document and it's pulling in the dollar amount and the list and so this is all looking good and ready to go so from here I would print the document the way I would print any word document locally on my printer and then when I'm done with that I want to mark the file as being sent or the mailing is being sent. Uh, this one I had already done that so but um, instead of leaving it as draft you want to make sure it's marked sent and that way when you're looking on any of the individual record uh, profiles you'll see in the history the history of the letters and every other interaction you've had so this uh, 2015 tax receipt mailing has been sent. All right. Well, that's how you would send an end-of-year tax receipt, and thank you for joining, and best of luck as you do it yourself. Take care.